ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਅੰਗ 653 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਏ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਚੌਥਾ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਅੰਤਰ ਸੰਤ ਹੈ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਨਾਮ ਸਮਾਇ ਨਾਮੋ ਚਿਤਵੈ ਨਾਮ ਪੜੈ ਨਾਮ ਰਹ ਲਿਵ ਲਾਇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਅੰਤਰ ਸੰਤ ਹੈ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਨਾਮ ਸਮਾਇ ਨਾਮੋ ਚਿਤਵੈ ਨਾਮ ਪੜੈ ਨਾਮ ਰਹ ਲਿਵ ਲਾਇ ਨਾਮ ਪਦਾਰਥ ਪਾਇਆ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਗਈ ਬਿਲਾਇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਨਾਮ ਉਪਜੈ ਤਿਸਨਾ ਭੁਖ ਸਭ ਜਾਇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮੇ ਰਤਿਆ ਨਾਮੋ ਪੱਲੇ ਪਾਇ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਚੌਥਾ ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਪੁਰਖ ਜਿ ਮਾਰਿਆ ਭ੍ਰਮ ਭ੍ਰਮਿਆ ਘਰ ਛੋੜ ਗਿਆ ਉਸ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਵੱਜੇ ਫੱਕੜੀ ਮੋਹ ਕਾਲਾ ਆਗੈ ਭਇਆ ਉਸ ਅਰਲ ਬਰਲ ਮੋਹ ਹੋ ਨਿਕਲੈ ਨਿਤ ਝੱਗੂ ਸੁੱਟਦਾ ਮੁਆ ਕਿਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿਸੈ ਹੀ ਦੈ ਕੀਤੈ ਜਾਂ ਧੋਰੇ ਕਿਰਤ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਪਿਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਜਾਏ ਤਿੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਝੂਠਾ ਕੂੜ ਬੋਲੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨ ਪਾਵੇ ਵੇਖੋ ਭਾਈ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਹਰ ਸੰਤ ਹੋ ਸੁਆਮੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੀ ਜੈਸਾ ਕੋਈ ਕਰੈ ਤੈਸਾ ਕੋਈ ਪਾਵੇ ਇਹੋ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਦਰ ਸਾਚੈ ਅਗੋ ਦੇ ਜਨ ਨਾਨਕ ਆਖ ਸੁਣਾਵੇ ਪੌੜੀ ਗੁਰ ਸੱਚੈ ਬੱਧਾ ਥੇਹੋ ਰਖ ਵਾਲੇ ਗੁਰ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਪੂਰਨ ਹੋਈ ਆਸ ਗੁਰ ਚਰਣੀ ਮਨ ਰਤੇ ਗੁਰ ਕਿਰਪਾਲ ਬਿਅੰਤ ਆਵਗਣ ਸਭ ਹਤੇ ਗੁਰ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਧਾਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਰ ਲਿਤੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਦ ਬਲਿਹਾਰ ਜਿਸ ਗੁਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਣ ਇਤੇ ਗੁਰ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਧਾਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਰ ਲਿਤੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਦ ਬਲਿਹਾਰ ਜਿਸ ਗੁਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਣ ਇਤੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੂਡੇ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੋਰਟ ਰਾਗਣੀ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਟੂਡੇ ਥਰੂ ਦੀ ਸੋਰਟ ਕੀ ਵਾਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਾਈ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਦ ਵਰਚੂਸ ਵਿਚ ਅਬਾਈਡ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਦ ਫਾਲੋਅਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਦ ਵਨ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਿਸ ਮੁਖ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਿਸ ਹੈਡ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਿਸ ਆਲ ਟੂ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਟਾਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੋਸ ਹੂ ਟਰਨ ਅਵੇ from vaheguru those who turn away from the guru and what happens and in the end guru sahib ji in the pauri in the last part of the shabad sums up everything and reminds us that vaheguru has created this world and vaheguru protects it so satguru pasha ji begins gurmukh those people who have meditated upon the mukhi guru upon the primal guru upon guru nanak who have focused upon the lord those people who have given themselves to the true guru what happens to them what state do they achieve antar inside shanti hai within them there is peace many of us spend a lot of money and a lot of time in order to create peace externally within our lives to make sure that externally we have all the accessories of a peaceful life we may buy incense or 
we might have a special place to do meditation or we might have a special mat or a rug but if we don't actually partake within with the meditation if we don't actually carry out the sadhana the practice then that inner shanti that inner peace can't come and Sadhguru Pasha Ji says when we ask Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj how did this inside this inner peace come the peace that the whole world is looking for internal peace where the mind is at rest there is no desire there is no anger greed where, where did this come from this peace this came from Samaye Guru Sahib Ji says from merging into the Naam from becoming one with the Naam and how do you do this? Guru Sahib says, Manatan, with your mind and your body. Focusing your mind and your body in the Naam. Putting your body into Seva, putting your mind into the Naam. Controlling both your mental and physical urges. You will Samai. And Guru Sahib goes on to tell us more about this Namo Chitave. In your mind, Chitave, always think about the Naam. Always study the Naam. Always do vichar. Try to conceptualize within your mind the Naam, the name of the Lord. Naam Pada, always with your mouth. Always sing the Naam. Always speak the Naam. Always read the Naam. Always read the Guru's Bani. Always be engaging with the Guru's word. Naam Rahal Live Alai. And Alai, attach your live, your consciousness. To the Naam. Raha meaning continually. Naam Padartha Paya. And this is the way to Paya to receive the Padarat, the treasure of Naam. And when you receive this treasure, what happens? Jinta Gai Bilai. The Bilai, the stress of Jinta, of anxiety, Gai is removed. It leaves itself. It's like, imagine there's a field full of sheep. If into that field full of sheep you were, you were, to, put, were to bring or put one lion, that lion would scare away all the sheep simply by its presence. In the same way, when the Naam comes to abide within the mind, all of the anxieties, all of the stress, all of those things, they all just immediately leave. Satguru Milaya, meeting the Satguru, Naam Upaja. The Naam is Upaja, is planted within, and it blossoms forth inside. The name of the Lord is given by the true Guru, by no one else, Guruji is telling, t- telling us. And through the Naam, Tisana, all the desires, Pok, and all the hungers of the mind, Sab, all of them, Jai, Nanak Namme Ratiya. Sadhguru Pashi Ji tells us that those people who are Ratnya, who are completely coloured, completely imbued in the name of the Lord, in the Naam, Namo Palla Pai, into their, into their Palla. Palla means, I suppose we could equate it with pockets, but it means, if you've seen um, a Granti Singh, he usually has a a parna a hazuri around his neck, a white piece of cloth, and to open that in front of you, that was the sign of humility, and that was called a palla, and things would be put into that by the great giver, the guru. So, in the same way, Guru Guruji says, into your the palla of your mind, into the cloth of your mind. The Naam will embed itself if you imbue yourself in the Naam 24-7. Mahalla Chautha. Guru Sahib Ji goes on to tell us a story in this. And what is the story? The story is that Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj was donated the land of Goindwal Sahib by a man named Pai Gonda. And it was said that this land was possessed by many dark spirits. And so Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj sent Guru, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj 
to purify all the land. And Guru Sahib Ji did this and Pai Gonda gave the land to the Guru's house. And that is where at Goindwal Sahib, where the Bauli Sahib is. Even today you can go there. Guru Amar Das Ji made the Bauli Sahib, the well. And Guru Amar Das Ji said that whoever on each step of this well, there are 84 steps. And who start, you start at the bottom of the well. And on each step, the person, the Sikh, who with faith and love, pure faith, pure love, completes a Jabji Sahib that part, then has an Ishanan at the bottom of the well, then does another Jabji Sahib on all of the steps. His or her cycle of reincarnation will be wiped away by the Guru. So a great place that was made by the Guru, this place, place of ultimate power. And one day, Pai Gondaji's son came to Guru Amar Das Ji and said, well, and this was when many, many Sangatam, a lot of congregations started turning up and visiting the Guru. He said, well, this is our land. So, really, he said to Guru Amar Das Ji, he said, you, must, you should pay us royalties. You should be pl- paying me some of the money out of the Golak, some of the money out of the offerings that the Sikhs give you. And Guru Amar Das Ji said, the Guru's Golak, the Guru's treasury, whatever the Sikhs give is put into the langar. If you want to partake, you can sit with us in the langar and eat any time. And Pai Gondaji's son said, to the Guru no why should I sit with everyone else you should pay me royalties you should pay me some tax some money and Guru Amr Das Ji said look your father gave this as a gift to the Guru's house he gave it out of love for the Guru's house simply accept that if you, you can sit with us you can serve with us no one is kicking you out you, are, you can stay with us for as long as you want and partake in the langar but Pai Gondaji's son, his mind was filled with this, with these evil thoughts and he went to the emperor of the time, Akbar. And when he went to the emperor Akbar, what you had to do in those times was, if you wanted the emperor to listen to what you had to say, you, uh, you had to really cover yourself in dirt and wear horrible clothes and wearing that type of wearing those types of clothes the emperor would listen to what you had to say quicker and on ang 306 of sri guru granth sahib ji guru ramdas ji is telling the story um also and um, in that part guru ramdas ji says mal juhi bhareya nila kala khito lada tin ve mukh ve mukh no paya and bai gonda ji san had teamed up with the the tapa the fake ascetic the fake holy man who had stood against the guru and he was conspiring with him conspired with him went to the court of akbar and the way he dressed was he dressed this blue black very dark colored coat which was filled with holes it was all uh, this kadolara um, meaning is all cut in places all patchy and it's covered in um, lice and animals going through it it's horrible it was covered in filth this coat and he went to speak to the king Akbar and as he was the most vilest dressed person he got there very quickly and Akbar asked who is this man and what does he want and one of the Ministers there said, oh, this man has come to complain against Guru Amar Das. Oh, you remember Guru Amar Das? They said to the emperor, the one who um, we went to go and see who ran that splendid free kitchen for all and who's spreading love and peace for everyone. And Akbar said, go and take this man away, cover him in filth, even more than he is so now, and take him away from my sight. And may everyone cast out their filth upon this man. Everybody laugh at him and they kicked him out 
Raja, the Raja Akbar, the Emperor Akbar kicked him out and said, I'm not going to listen to even one word against Guru Amar Das. So it's that story that Guru Ram Das Ji is telling us today. Guru Ram Das Ji says, Sadhguru Purkhaje Maria. That person who Maria, who has given up the protection of the Sadhguru, of the true Guru, You know, what to understand about this line is that the Guru is not wishing any ill upon anyone. To be Maria by the Guru, to be in one sense removed from the Guru was by Gondar's son's own doing. He moved himself away from the Guru himself. And what we have to remember about this line is something which the Guru tells us in Gurbani. Guru says, Satgur sabna da pala da. On Ang 302 of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Satgur sabna da pala da. The Guru wishes well upon everyone. What we have to remember in this line is that the Guru is not wishing ill upon this person. The, he is breaking himself for the, from the Guru. And like we say in English, oh, this person is dead in my eyes. This person doesn't exist in my eyes. When you have given up on the Guru, that person, he believes in his world, the Guru doesn't exist, the Guru is nothing to him, to that Nindak, to that slander. And in his slander, he slips into that world and falls away from the Guru. And he wanders around again and again. He gave up his car, his house, or as he go into Al went all the way to see the king, the emperor. Also, Pichava Jeff Hakari, Mohokala Agape. When he went Agape, when he went there, when he got there to the next place, the emperor said, Mohokala, black in his face. And also, Pichava Jeff Hakari. Hakari means people all laughing at him, jeering at him, all poking fun at him. All the people behind him were all poking fun at him. And the king said, Everyone throw out your filth upon this person and poke fun at him. Os arla barla mohoho nikale. From his mouth came out arla barla. Just arla barla means filth against the Guru's house. Nitta chaggu sotadamua. From his mouth, he always gives out the chaggu, the foam, the spit of slander. He's, he was always slandering the Guru's house. Kya hove kise he da kite. Jan tur kirat osta eho jeha paya. What can be done by anyone else? When his preordained destiny is such, wherever he went, everybody said he's false. His father has given the land to the Guru freely. Always speaking falsehood. And disliked by all. Oh brothers, Look at the video, the glory, Har Santoho, O saints of my Swami, of my Lord, Apaneki, Jasa Koi Kare, such as a person does, Tasa Koi Pave, he finds the fruit of his labors, good or bad. Eho Brahma Bichar, this is the Bichar, the understanding of Brahm, <coughs> of the Lord. Hove Dar Satya, and this is what, this is the Judgment which it, which takes place on the dar on the court in the court in the house of the Lord of the true Lord Satya. A good day and Jan Nanak Aksunave and Satguru says that I'm Aksunave, I'm telling you beforehand this is what will take place with him in the next world as well. So if we look through that again, Satguru Purkhaje Maria, that person who has given up on the true Guru and who has removed himself from the Guru. In whose eyes the Guru doesn't exist. He wanders around because he's got no place. He's given up 
on the car, on the true house of his understanding, on his own self. By giving up on the Guru, you're giving up on the house of your own self. Wherever that person goes, who has turned his back on the Guru, who are the people jeering at him? Desires, anger, greed, attachment and ego. They are the ones who are jeering at him, always playing tricks on him, always tripping him up. And when that slanderer, when that person who has given up on the Guru goes to the next word, his or her face is blackened by the, 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 the deeds that they have done. From his or her mouth, Arl meaning words of ignorance, Barl meaning words of madness. The madness to turn the back on the Guru comes out of their mouth at all times. Not one good thing, some, some people have not even one good thing to say. You know, we say that person, is, if you've got nothing good to say, then say nothing at all. Nit again and again he's giving out the foam, the spit of slander from his mouth from his, and giving out this mua he dies. And Guruji says, What can anyone do? Sada Guruji says. This is all part of the game of the Lord. This was the kirt, this was the preordained destiny. The slanderer must be there. The slanderers and the saints have lived side by side. This is the game of the Lord. Guruji is looking at this from the view of Brahmagyan, from the view of complete consciousness. Jitha o jai, wherever that slanderer goes, wherever that person who's turned their back on the Guru goes, Jitha o chuta, in all those places, he's full of falsehood. Kur bolle, always engaged in speaking falsehood, speaking about material gain, kisena pave, and is not liked by anyone. Listen brothers, the the glory of my Lord. We've talked about this meaning before. As as someone sows, so they reap. This is the bichar, the judgment of the Lord of Brahm, of that Vaheguru. And Satguru Ji Pasha is telling us beforehand, these are the judgments that take place. In this world, Guruji is telling us about the next world. Pauri. Gur satcha badda teho rakhwale gur ditte. The satcha, the true Guru, badda teho, has established the teho, this place, this village. What village are they talking about? Goendwal sahab. Guru Angad Dev Ji established it. Rakhwale gur ditte. And the Guru gave the rakhwala who? The protector, which, which Guru? Guru Amar Das Ji to protect it. Puran hoi as those people's hopes and desires are filled. Guru charni manrate, whose minds arate are imbued with the Guru's charan, with the Guru's lotus feet when they go and do those eighty-four jabji saade parts and eighty-four shanans. Gor kripal beant avgan sabhate, when that beant that limitless Lord is kripal is merciful upon them. Avgan sabhate, all of their sins are erased. And we look at this again. Gur satcha badda ho. The Satcha, the Satcha Guru, the Sat Guru, Wahe Guru, the greatest of all, Badda Teho has made this world, this the village of this world, Rakhwale Gurdite, and the Guru, Wahe Guru, has given us the Guru as the Rakhwala, as the protector, Guru Nanak Sahib. This world is a village created by God, and Guru Nanak Sahib is the protector. Puran Hoi As, those people's desires are fulfilled. Guru Charni Manaratte, whose minds are coloured in the Guru's Charan, whose minds are coloured in the love for the Guru's feet, the Guru's Shabbat, the Guru's words. Guru Kripal Beant, the Guru, when the Guru is Kripal Beant, when that limitless Lord is limitlessly merciful, Avagurna Sabahate, of those people who have imbued their minds with love for the Guru's feet, he takes away all of their Avagurn, all of their sins. Hate, literally meaning to. Destroy. Gur apni kripataar. The Guru Tar showers that Pyara, that beloved person, with their kirpa, their grace. Apne kar lete and he makes them their own. He makes them his own. Like Guru Nanak taking 
Bhai Lena Ji into them, into their very own form and making them Guru Angad Dev Ji, my limb. Nanak Sad Balihar, Sadhguru Ji says, I am Sad forever, Balihar, a sacrifice to that Guru, Jis Gur Ke Gun Ite, who has Ite, limitless Gun, that Guru who has limitless virtue, I am always a sacrifice to them. गोर अपनी कृपा तार अपने कर लिते नानक सद बलहार जिस गुर के गुण इते वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह